NBC Montana News, getting the facts right. Well, you might want to pack those umbrellas and raincoats this graduation weekend. Good evening, everyone. I'm Montana McLaughlin. Meteorologist Matt Gray is tracking a storm system creeping in. He's standing by right now in the Weather Center with the latest. Matt. Yeah, that's right, and not a whole lot of changes since earlier this evening as far as what we expect for tomorrow and the day beyond. So if you're out and about tomorrow, for the most part, you're going to be good. But as we take a look later on in the day, we're going to be watching Idaho for some thunderstorm development across the state line. And a few of those, as we headed to Saturday night, will cross the border and move into Montana. But storm coverage should be very light tomorrow. Sunday, completely different story. We're talking about widespread storms. Some of those could end up being quite strong, so it's likely to be a pretty stormy afternoon. That's one thing we're tracking. The other, river levels. This is the Salmon River tonight. That house, too, way too close for comfort. Moderate uh, flood stage, and it's likely to stay there through the weekend, along with minor flood stage around Columbia Falls and near action stage in the Missoula area. We're going to continue to follow both those, and we'll have more coming up. Political News reports tonight that Montana's Attorney General Tim Fox says he will not run against Senator John Tester for his Senate seat. Republicans were confident Fox would run against Tester, but tonight Politico says he's turning away with his eyes on a bid for Montana's governor's seat. Right now, the only person declaring they're running in the Republican primary to challenge Democrat incumbent Tester is Albert Olszewski, a Montana state senator. Also new tonight, U.S. Representative-elect Greg Gianforte spoke with the media for the first time since he was elected last Thursday. Now, this also marks the first time Gianforte spoke with the media since he allegedly assaulted a reporter on the eve of that election. MTN's Mike Dennison spoke with a re Republican at his home near Bozeman, and he files this report. It's been eight days since Greg Gianforte won last week's special election to become Montana's only congressman, defeating Democrat Rob Quist by 50 to 44 percent. And in Friday's interview, he repeated an apology he made on election night for assaulting a reporter for the British newspaper The Guardian. I made a mistake, uh, and when you make a mistake, you take responsibility for it, you own up to it, and uh, I think that's the right course of action. I think it's the way we repair relationships and move forward. As I said at the beginning, the that, that is not who I am. Uh, it's not going to define my leadership for the state, and I look forward to working, working going forward to represent all of Montana. Gianforte is facing a misdemeanor assault charge, accused of throwing reporter Ben Jacobs to the ground and punching him when Jacobs questioned Gianforte about a Republican health care bill. Gianforte has until next Wednesday to enter a plea to the charge. He said Friday he'll announce his plea next week. The Bozeman businessman and software entrepreneur also said he hopes to do what he can to de-escalate political rhetoric against the media and between partisan opponents. I'd like to see a, a return to more civility on, on, on both sides, honestly. And uh, um, I think it's important. The role of the press is extremely important. And, and as a public official, I need to make myself uh, open and available to sit down and address the issues that come up. Gianforte expects to be sworn into office later this month. As for his political goals, they line up pretty well with Republican Party agendas and what he promoted on the campaign trail. For example, Gianforte wants a health care bill that will lower prescription drug costs and health care premiums, lower taxes, term limits for Congress, and a ban on former members of Congress becoming lobbyists. He also says he supports President Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Change Accord, saying it would damage fossil fuel industries in Montana. But Gianforte told me his top priority will be listening to all Montanans to formulate an agenda that will boost jobs and the economy in the state. I want to go to Washington with uh, a clear set of objectives that are not my objectives, but those of the people of Montana. I'm going out to uh, associations and groups across the state saying, give me your three to five yard plays that would make it easier for people to prosper here in Montana and protect our precious way of life. And that's where I'll start. Reporting from Bozeman, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Wildfire season is nearly upon us, and tonight, a grim prediction from the feds. Today, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke and Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue predicted the season will be challenging. They also announced a joint agreement emphasizing cooperation between federal, state, tribal, and local agencies when battling wildfires. Their first priority is the safety of firefighters and the public, and the payer says what's being protected and how much it costs also determines when and how many fire crews are sent. 
Well, we double check statistics from the National Interagency Fire Center to put this year's statistics in perspective. Since January, more than 2.2 million acres have burned. Now compare that to last year, roughly 1.5 million torched. And in 2015, just shy of 400,000 acres burned. Right now, fires are burning in Alaska, Arizona, Florida, and Georgia. Well, if you're headed out on Montana waters as the weather warms up, check your boats. Montana officials say they stopped two boats carrying invasive mussels over just this Memorial Day weekend. Fish, Wildlife and Parks say one boat came from the Great Lakes was, and was headed for West Yellowstone. The staffers hot washed that boat and then took it to Bozeman for decontamination. The second boat drove past an inspection station in Hardin when a trooper stopped the driver and made him turn around for a wash. Officials alerted Canadian authorities because the driver was taking it to British Columbia. Montana requires watercraft coming into the state to be inspected. Aquatic mussels can spread quickly, clog water pipes, displace native species and cause other economic and environmental problems. Well, if you are traveling, you may also want to look out for the cheapest places to get gas. NBC Montana's Karen Faringer looked into prices at the pump and how that could impact your summer commute. It's good news for anyone traveling during this summer. According to GasBuddy.com, gas prices should be staying down. Something else we found on GasBuddy.com is that Montana's gas prices are the 19th least expensive in the country. We looked into the website to find Montana's average gas price, $2.36. One driver we talked to says regardless of how much gas is, it's a necessity to have. It doesn't really bother me in my motorcycle because I get pretty good gas mileage anyhow, but it, it's always, it, every little bit helps. Missoula may have the highest gas prices in the state, but we wanted to know about each of our viewing areas. In Bozeman, their lowest price per gallon is $2.32. Kalispell's at $2.39 and Butte's at $2.33. We talked to a petroleum analyst from Gas Buddy. He says the reason why Missoula has the highest gas prices is not because of taxes, but rather because retailers can charge more per gallon. You know, I mean, I think it's people pay what they'll pay, and then there's a bit of a monopoly grab on things, so. If everyone's setting their prices above the average, there's not a whole lot of options for most of us. One option drivers do have is when and where they are traveling. For ones we talked to today, they say they hope prices stay down like they're expected to, so they don't have to break the bank at the pump. Reporting in Missoula, Karen Faringer, NBC Montana. A gas buddy says they don't expect the price of gas to change dramatically anytime soon, but if you are heading out, they say the cheapest place in Montana to get gas is in Great Falls at $2.14 a gallon. Well, this evening, the search continues for a Nebraska man who fell into a stretch of turbulent water below one of the state's largest dams. That would be the SKQ Dam, formerly known as the Kerr Dam, located near Polson on the southern end of Flathead Lake. Today, officials released his name, 23-year-old Richard Mitchell. He's been missing since Wednesday. Lake County Sheriff's Office says he was climbing a cliff when he fell 12 feet into the water. The two Bear Air Search and Rescue helicopter joins the search effort along with a canine rescue unit and multiple search crews. Well, Flathead High School's class of 2017 capped off their four-year journey tonight in the school's gymnasium. Altogether, 300 students took the stage to accept their high school diplomas. The class saw 12 summa cum laude graduates and 15 international baccalaureate diploma candidates. It's the school's 119th commencement ceremony, and while some students are happy to move on and start a new chapter in their life, others couldn't wait for the ceremony to be over. My emotions, I'm hot, I'm hungry, I'm tired. It hasn't even started yet, but uh, we'll get through it. Very excited, uh, nervous, uh, mostly excitement though, a little sad. I'm going to miss some of my teachers and my classmates because most of them are going to Bozeman, but... The school will also recognize 12 honorary graduates from the class of 1967. And while seniors celebrate their graduation, many are teaming together for a safe night to celebrate. NBC Montana's Kevin Goodwin reports. The 2017 high school senior all-night party is a chance for graduates to celebrate in a safe alcohol and drug-free environment. And all seniors graduating from all public schools and private high schools are welcomed. 
we found one of the event's organizers selling tickets to the party after graduation practice. Um, back in the 80s, there were a lot of problems with graduation night. And the party is completely community driven. So they came together, law enforcement, parents, friends, teachers, to form this, this committee to put on this party for this, for this safe environment. Part of the reason the party has lasted so long is it's fun for the kids. This year, the party will be held at the Hub Family Entertainment Center near the airport. The big graduation night party is going on here at the Hub, so I thought I would swing by and get a little bit of a preview. Graduates will have access to the go-kart track be able to play a whole host of video games. There's laser tag, bingo. There's also a grand prize drawing of $1,000. Other prizes include a $1,000 scholarship to the University of Montana and a $1,000 scholarship to Montana State University. And of course, there will be lots of food. The party's been here for the last couple of years. So many businesses, universities, and members of the community all coming together for a common goal. We're trying to make sure that they don't um, indulge in anything that's unsafe. We want everybody to stay sober. In Missoula, I'm Kevin Goodwin, NBC Montana. Tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the door on the night of the party. Well, it's a big next few days for Montana high school graduates. NBC Montana is congratulating the entire class of 2017. Here's a list of those graduation celebrations tonight. Anaconda, Manhattan Christian and Flathead seniors graduated. Now tomorrow, all three Missoula high schools, Glacier High and the Flathead, as well as Belgrade, Polson, Libby, Corvallis, Superior and Stevensville. The weekend wraps up with ceremonies at, Fl at Florence, Victor and Bozeman High. Be sure to share your graduation pictures with us so your neighbors can join in on the celebration too. You can send those over to news at KECI.com. Well, on the other side of this break, we dive into new details on the investigation between Russia and the Trump campaign. Plus, let's take you out to a live look over Missoula tonight. There were lots of people out and about as the sun went down on this first Friday. Matt Gray will have your extended forecast after the break. Tonight on Fallon, Selma Hayek. Come on, Jimmy, I got it hot. With salsa lessons and a ramen channel. Plus, Michael Biglia and Thank You News. All new Fallon tonight. Seth Myers welcomes Tracy Morgan and Michael McKee. Late night with Seth, NBC Tonight. At Men's Warehouse, expert stylists know what's on trend this season. Like the latest select suits, just $2.49. And with buy one, get one free, you can stock up on more great styles. Men's Warehouse. The reason I chose Moore's Hearing was the, some of the people that here in the park have been to them and had good results and they recommended that I go to them and that's why I went. The experience I had when I first walked into their uh, facility was open, very nice, very cordial. It was easy to talk to them and it was easy to, uh, to get in and, and get everything done properly. Would I recommend Moore Hearing? Absolutely. They were very professional, very good. Uh, I would definitely recommend them. Hi, I'm Bob Burton with Grizzly Gold and Silver, where you get the best precious metal prices, respect for privacy, and one-on-one -on -one personal service. Now's a great time to invest in gold and silver bullion. With an unstable stock market, investors are turning to gold and silver for stability in their financial portfolios. At Grizzly Gold and Silver, our goal is to always over-deliver and make your trip through our door worthwhile. Come see us today at 1935 Brook Street next to the Muffler Bandit. Check us out online at grizzlygoldandsilver.com or give us a call at 541-6690. Next live, we're in Niagara Falls, Canada with Justin Trudeau. It's going to be a good time, eh? Sure is. Eh? Weekdays at 10 a.m. on NBC Montana. At Men's Warehouse, expert stylists know what's on trend this season. Like the latest select suits, just $2.49. And with buy one, get one free, you can stock up on more great styles. Men's Warehouse. Get your forecast from the Severe Weather Alert team on NBC Montana. New tonight, investigators looking into the Trump-Russia connection are now focusing on a 2016 meeting between President Trump's son, son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and a Russian banker. Now that banker showed up in an economic conference in St. Petersburg, Russia. NBC's Keir Simmons encountered that banker and pressed him for answers. 
Mr. Gorkov. Sergei Gorkov is the head of Vesh Ekonom Bank, which is a bank that is at times described as the guided missile of the Kremlin. He is very close to President Putin, and he met with Jared Kushner, who is, of course, President Trump's son-in-law, back in December. Now, we don't know very much about what happened at that meeting, but here is some sound from when we ran into him and asked him what did happen. You're the subject of intense scrutiny in America because of your meeting with uh, Donald Trump's son-in-law, no, Jared Kushner. Are not, sorry, are there any comments about that? Just a question of understanding what happened in the meeting. What, 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 comments, but no, but was it a, please, what, please. Can I just ask you, was it a political meeting or was it an economic meeting? Could we, get, could we interview you at, another, at a later date? Would that be possible? Please, there are all comments, therefore. President Putin insisting today that any suggestion that the Trump administration during the transition had negotiated with the Kremlin to try to have Russian sanctions removed was simply hysteria. Back to you. The European Union and China warned President Trump today that pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord is a big mistake. Today, Chinese and European leaders spoke about reducing pollution and fighting the rise in sea levels without the United States. At the same time, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is defending President Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. Well, it was a policy decision. I think it's important that everyone recognize the United States has a terrific record in reducing our own greenhouse gas emissions and something I think we should be proud of. And that was done in the absence of the Paris Agreement. And now, Matt Gray with your forecast. Well, Matt, as we end another beautiful day, I know that you're saying that this weather might not last for too much longer this weekend. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of an interlude that's a little bit stormier uh, in our in upcoming forecast. Now, for tomorrow, as you can see behind me here, not that bad. We are going to have a chance for an isolated storm as we head into the afternoon. So uh, if you're out and about, especially after about 4 o'clock or so tomorrow, just want to keep your eye on the sky in case you uh, end up being that unlucky uh, unlucky set that ends up uh, getting that storm over you. Meanwhile, looking pretty stormy for Sunday afternoon, so uh, definitely tomorrow going to be the day to uh, get yourself outside. As for tonight, mostly clear, beautiful sunset just wrapped up in our area. Temperatures will be in the 40s through the overnight hours. And here is Saturday. We do have a chance. It's only a marginal chance, but a chance for some uh, severe storm development around the uh, Lewiston, Idaho area, and that stretches north towards Mineral County. So that's where uh, we're expecting uh, some of the stronger thunderstorms to develop as all the ingredients are in the right place. Meanwhile, general thunderstorm chances extend from Cutbank south to the Butte area and across most of our viewing area. But as I told you before, it is only going to be uh, few and far between with these storm chances. Now, something to take a note here, our latest round of computer models are beginning to shift the storm development a little bit further to the south. And so I think we cannot dismiss that completely. So if you're around Missoula, the Bitterroot Valley, Phillipsburg area, so many times we get thunderstorms that track across this higher terrain uh, between the Bitterroots, the Sapphires, and then on towards the Lincoln area, uh, you can't really dismiss this as well. So basically all across our region, if you're near the Idaho state line in the afternoon and evening, you want to look out for some storm development and maybe another round of that as we head into the early hours of Sunday morning and also further to the north in Lincoln County. So thunderstorms, very few and far between, but could be on a little bit on the stronger side if they do make it to your area. And for the most part during the day, though, we're good. Uh, we are going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. So in the middle 80s in the Missoula area, 60s by 10 a.m. and 70s, by lunchtime, so a little on the toasty side. And around Kalispell, expect us to get into the upper 70s, right around that 80 degree marker as we head into the afternoon and should be fairly dry across the flathead. So here are your highs, 85 in Missoula, 80 for Kalispell, a little bit warmer around uh, Sanders and Mineral Counties, 87 for Thompson Falls, 86 in Superior, upper 70s in Phillipsburg. Should be a great day in Polson for the Flathead Lake Rock Skipping Championships. I, I, sorry, I just love that. And we'll be in the 60s uh, through that scheduled time frame. Moderate on Sunday on the severe weather tracker for those more widespread thunderstorms. You can see that green area where we will have a slight chance of seeing a severe thunderstorm uh, does increase to basically cover our whole area. Winds over 40 miles an hour, large amounts of small hail and heavy rain that could be triggering some localized flooding if we get a couple storms moving across in quick succession. 
Here's your extended outlook. Rainy conditions on Monday with isolated thunder. And then look at those warm temperatures. Upper 80s in the Missoula area. Salmon River, we showed you this earlier. And look at that moderate flood stage. We're going to stay there through the week. So river levels, we're really going to have to keep a close eye on them again this week as the warm weather will continue despite a brief break Monday. Absolutely, and you shared some pictures with us earlier of some of that minor flooding in Carmen, Idaho. So if you do witness any and are able to safely snap a photo for us, we'd love to see what all that uh, is looking like out yeah, there. High river levels everywhere. All right, thanks, Matt. Well, before you take that summer road trip, you're going to want to hear what's coming up after the break. Hundreds of truck and motorcycle recalls. Make sure yours isn't one of them. We'll be The Rosar cereal sale is happening now. Many favorite cereals are just $1.79 each, including General Mills Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, and Raisin Bran, and much more on sale. Rosars. Looking to mix things up? Then try the rotisserie-style chicken from Subway. Hand-pulled, seasoned, and marinated all-white meat chicken topped with fresh veggies on nine-grain wheat bread. The rotisserie-style chicken. Unique flavor from a better Subway. Right now, Ashley Home Store wants to help furnish your home. Enjoy huge savings store-wide on our 14-piece selections. Save on 14-piece living rooms. Also save on 14-piece bedrooms. 14-piece rooms starting at just $9.99. Plus amazing no-interest financing offers. It's store-wide savings like never before. Only at your local Missoula, Montana Ashley Home Store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Shop now at ashleyhomestore.com. How would you like to save money on heating and air conditioning? Hi, I'm David, owner of Air Quality Mechanical. Did you know it's possible to transform any room in your home into an oasis of comfort? Cool and dry in the summer and warm and cozy in the winter. Daikin Heating and Cooling Systems let you control your comfort in each and every room. Simply set the temperature for each room with an easy to use remote and save money all year long, year after year. For more information and a free estimate, please call Air Quality Mechanical, 721-7018. Oh, snap. Every truck guy has their own way of conveying powerful. Yeah, boy. Kind of looks like a monster coming to eat you. Holy smokes. That is awesome. Strong. You got the basic and you got the beefy. I just think it looks mean. Incredible. No way. Yeah, and goosebumps. Get 17% below MSRP on all Silverado 1500 LT pickups in stock. That's over $8,100 on this Chevy Silverado. See your Montana Chevy dealers. If it's challenging the powerful, Obamacare has failed. That is a very debatable point, well, Mr. Vice President. If it's recognizing the big picture, the American people are crying out for tax relief. But you are going to increase the deficit. If it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. The Rose Hour cereal sale is happening now. Select Nature's Path organic cereal, bars, or frozen waffles, two for $5. Rose Hour's milk is $1.79 a gallon. First two, please, and much more. Rose this segment of the news is brought to you by Fred's Appliance. Two Corvallis teens took top honors at the Montana Junior High Rodeo Finals in Townsend. 14-year-old Cole Trexler and 13-year-old Paige Palin are teammates. The state's cowgirls and cowboy, and they're the best of friends. They practice every day for events like roping, shoot dogging and saddle bronc steer riding. The seventh and eighth graders will compete in all six events at nationals as well. There's always that next kid that could be better than you and always beat you in the next event. Teaches me manners, good sportsmanship. We're just going to go and try to keep everything clean and go for the best. Paige Cole and their families will travel to Lebanon, Tennessee later this month to participate in the national finals for an experience they say is going to be an adventure of a lifetime. Well, Toyota is recalling 36,000 Tacoma pickup trucks because they say they can stall without warning. The recall involves Tacoma's V6 engines from the 2016 and 2017 model years. Toyota says an engine crankshaft timing rotor may have been produced with excessive anti-corrosion coating, which could cause the crank position sensor to malfunction. Now that could cause the truck to run roughly, misfire, or even stall. Now uh, before you get on that Harley, there is another recall you should know about. Harley Davidson is recalling about 46,000 motorcycles in the
the U.S. An oil line can come loose and spew oil into the path of the rear tire, increasing the risk of an accident. The recall involves certain 2017 Electra Glide, Road King, Street Glide and Road Glide models. Harley Davidson says it's received nine reports of oil lines coming off, causing two crashes and one minor injury. Dealers will inspect and fix the problem free of charge. And Walmart is testing a new delivery service. Employees delivering, delivering your food order on their way home from work. Employees who opt into the program will get extra cash as an incentive. Right now, the test is taking place at two Walmart stores in New Jersey and one near Walmart's headquarters in Arkansas. The head of Walmart's online business says the aim is to cut shipping costs and to get orders to customers quicker. Wow, might have to try that out if it comes out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> well, coming up in Sports Montana, the best, the very best Class C football players in high school are in Butte right now. They're getting ready for the Ben, the Bob Cleverly Classic, excuse me, as the two teams look to wrap up their final practices today. You're going to hear from them after the break. This is NBC Montana, getting the facts right. You know, at Perkins, value is always in season. Feast your eyes on our Great Plates menu, a never-ending landscape of delicious dishes, just four to eight bucks. It's great food at great prices that feeds the whole family, only at Perkins. Your privacy is under attack again, and the big internet providers stand to make a lot of money as a result. They're collecting, analyzing, and packaging some of our most sensitive personal information and selling it as a commodity. Montanans know it's a violation of our privacy, and our senators fighting back. John Tester's working to stop corporations from taking our online data and selling it for profit. Because Tester knows our freedoms and privacy are fundamental rights. John Tester, standing strong for Montana. Napa know-how. Don't let this happen to you. Get ready for summer during Napa's hot summer deal sale. Valvoline motor oil specials, Scott shop tiles, just a buck ninety-nine a roll, wash and wax specials, and even tools. All on sale, and right now, get a free Silverwood ticket with the retail purchase of $40 or more. The Northwest's largest theme park with over 70 rides, slides, and attractions, while supplies last. At participating locally owned Big Sky Napa Auto Parts stores. Napa know-how. We walked in the door, they knew our names immediately. They took us right in. Jenna put me in the booth and explained everything so that I knew exactly what was happening so that I wouldn't, you know, wonder what, what was happening to me. More hearing has better testing equipment uh, that, that uh, we weren't aware of. I'd never seen before in any other audiologists. Everybody that they take care of it, it goes in there and feels like they're just going in to chat with friends. And I highly recommend anybody to go there. Western Montana construction season is in full sway. Yes, I do use it often, so that'll be a shame with how long it'll be closed. From building.